G'day everyone, I'm Rob Mercer from Expedition Kayaks. I'm here at our Miranda store in Sydney. We recently did a video on the Bigfoot. We weren't too sure how it was going to go. We weren't too sure how we were going to explain it or even how it was going to be received. But given that uh, we seem to have done reasonably well with that one, it's given us the enthusiasm and a little bit of confidence to talk to you about a variation on the Bigfoot, which is what I have in my hands here. This we've called the Skegfoot, for want of a better word. Um, and as the name would suggest, this is a Bigfoot for Skeg boats. Now in front of me here, I have a Skeg boat. One of a long line of very, very revered boats, boats that Mark and I both learnt on, and are still a fantastic way to develop your skills and have fun. It's, uh, it's not going to go as fast as some of the new boats, but it's going to take you places in good style and it's going to teach you a lot along the way. Um, most of my early paddling for about the first 10 years, in fact, was in boats that didn't even have skegs. Um, so to me, skegs were a really elaborate, fancy thing. Uh, they were truly rudderless, but they also always had a bulkhead footrest. We went to great trouble to always make sure our boats had a bulkhead footrest. And I, looking back on it, I'm not sure it would have been possible for us to paddle those boats at all if we hadn't had a bulkhead footrest. There's so much, as, as those who've paddled skeg boats would know, and rudderless, true rudderless boats even more so, there is so much work you're doing with your legs, with your edges, with the way your upper body talks against your lower body, all of those things are made better when you have a firm, secure platform rather than just a couple of little pegs on the sides of the boat. So if you haven't experienced the luxuries of a bulkhead footrest and you're a skeg boat paddler, this is another way to go. The other advantage of this is it doesn't require the same amount of weight or complexity as a bulkhead footrest, especially if you're retrofitting it into a standard stock boat. The other advantage is it then means when you on-sell the boat, if you ever do, that your very broad, very strong, very ergonomically designed um, foot platform can move to your new owner, to the buyer of your boat. So this is this has a whole range of advantages, and in many ways, although it's a simpler device than the Bigfoot, it's every bit as valuable in terms of changing the way you paddle or improving the way your boat performs. Okay. So you've ordered your Skegfoot or your Bigfoot, it's arrived in the mail, you're ready to open it up. This is what you're going to find in the box. Firstly, you're going to find the foot plate, which I was waving around in the previous part of this segment. Now this has the same telescoping, sturdy, marine aluminium grade brackets on either side. It has a stainless pressure plate on the back and it has the attachment screws countersunk through the face of the plate. You'll notice, however, compared with the Bigfoot plate, it's nice and wide. This is meant to give you a far greater surface area because the Bigfoot has to occupy a pedal and a bar in the same space. So this gives you all that extra space to put your feet. It'll also have these extended wing nuts, which are purpose built for our product, which makes it easy to put your fingers in to tighten and adjust these once you've got it sorted. The next thing you'll find in the box are these two side rails. And again, if you look at them closely there, front on, you'll notice that they aren't actually right angles. Those angles have been optimized to give you a good approximation of the shape of your hull as it tapers towards the waterline. There's very few boats that don't end up with some compatibility with this angle. The last thing you'll find in the box is a little bag that contains washers, screws and some nylock nuts. Now these are to replace the existing through hull fasteners that most modern skeg boats have. And if you look carefully at these side tracks again, you'll notice that those holes match those perfectly. If they didn't, and you've got a power drill, obviously you can drill anywhere along this. 
but we've found most conveniently that all the big name manufacturers of this hardware seem to have conveniently established that this is the spacing between screws that they want to use. So in most cases, this will be pre-drilled and ready to go for your boat. As with so many things that you buy in a box, there's always that question about how hard it's really going to be to make this work. So hopefully we can show you in a couple of short steps, a couple of quick moves, just how easy it is to swap this over. Without any rudder lines or rudder cables, this one is, is a whole step easier again than the Bigfoot, which is already pretty easy. So we undo this. Put the screw aside. You can hear the foot plate has dropped out of the inside, the existing uh, smart track. Take that screw out as well, put it to one side. So before we put this away, let's just have a look at the comparison in surface area between where you're going to be putting your foot on the skeg foot versus the smart track system. I think you'll agree that this is a far bigger area to work with. For a lot of people, that's a real, real game changer. So what's the big deal? Why, why is this big area such an advantage? Well, I suppose one way to answer that would be simply to say, once you've tried it, you'll never want to go back. But that's not very helpful until you've already made the commitment. So if you just think about it, when you've got a standard foot peg, you've got one position for your foot. That's all you've got. You've got a small surface area that you're pressing hard against with the ball of your foot, and that's your only choice. If you need to move a foot over, move a foot up, work the boat around by straightening your leg one way, lifting your edge with the other foot, bringing the, the edge of the boat up, there's going to be some contact with your feet. There's going to be a lot more foot and leg work than you probably even appreciate. With this big area, you can move things around. If you like to paddle a little bit more knees up when you're paddling forward and fast, this gives you the ability to sneak your feet into the middle and stop your knees and hips from being so externally rotated. So there's lots of, lots of ergonomic reasons. We've also used an angle very much the same as the performance angles that are used on the Bigfoot. But if you decided you wanted this to be more upright, and I'd be surprised, you can always put a wedge of foam on this to square it up. But our feedback has been that this has been a very, very comfortable and very good angle for people to use in skeg boats as well. What I've done here is put the skeg foot up on top of the deck in pretty much the same way that it would fit under the deck, just so you can see how it's laid out and how all the parts work together. So when we end up fitting this, I'm simply going to slide this inside the boat and screw through the sides of the hull into these screws. Then to get your length, you move the brackets back and forth on these side tracks and depending on the width that you want to set it at, you move these two side brackets in and out. That's one of the most important parts of the system's adaptability. And then you just tighten up the screws in the front of the, pat, the, the plate. You'll also notice that on the back, the screws are longer than these pressure plates. For people who really want to go to the next length with their uh, bulkhead footrest, you could simply trace out the shape of the hull at the desired length, get a piece of sturdy plywood or something similar, undo these screws all together, including these captive, uh, these nylock nuts on the back, and then you could screw your own foot plate on here without needing to chase any new hardware whatsoever. So that's another little built-in bit of um, customising that you can, you can take advantage of if you really want your foot plate all the way to the bottom of the boat. But we found that for most people this is a very satisfactory solution to that whole problem of how to get some drive off the foot plate. I've saved you the boredom, almost agony, of watching me tighten up four screws to four nylock nuts with four washers. So instead we're just going to do this last one. This is just tightening it up. I'm just using a small socket on the other side. And that's all four screws tightened up now. 
It's a good idea to use some Sikaflex around each of these screws just to stop water leaking in around the backs of the, the screw holes. The really best way to do it is actually to make a small donut of Sikaflex around the hole that's in the side rail. Tighten it halfway, let it set, not, not set hard, but let it cure a little bit so it's at least gelled off. And that'll depend on your climatic conditions. Then make the last few turns. That way you'll be compressing the Sikaflex without squeezing it all out as you tighten it up. So there you have it, the Skegfoot, the complementary product for the Bigfoot, but this time for Skeg boats. Some would say it's a, a great alternative to a bulkhead footrest. Some might even say it's a better alternative to a, foot to a bulkhead footrest. But certainly it's a high performance product made out of marine grade stainless steel and aluminium. It's available from Expedition Kayaks exclusively in Australia, $279 Australian. So when you do your homework, if you're lucky enough to be um, spending in a more powerful currency, you may find that you can pick this up very, very inexpensively at the moment with the exchange rates the way they are. We export these to countries all over the world. Typical ex um, export rates or, or charges, freight and shipping charges around about $60 to $80 per unit and we welcome inquiries from all the different countries around the world. There's a lot of happy customers who've used these in places far and wide. Um, we'd invite you to join them and see the advantage you can get out of our Skeg foot foot plate system. If you've got any comments, any questions, anything more you'd like to know about the product, please feel free to give us a give us a email or, or comment on the on the YouTube video. Um, we will answer you. We will make our best attempts to give you a good answer, hopefully not a silly answer. And uh, we would really look forward to seeing you out on the water sometime. So thank you. We um was the. Can we start again? Good day, everybody. You really got me overthinking it now. <laughs>